made it through the night and got enough in his belly last night to get him through, but now she's not letting him suck. It dropped 30, the temperature dropped 30 degrees. We were in the 60s last night. Storm came in, rained two inches, poured on us, and now the temperature's down in the mid 30s. And this heifer's not letting this poor little guy get a drink. Oh. I'm going to have to go get a rope and do the same thing we did yesterday afternoon after he was born. Snub her up to the corner and let him drink. Oh, I'm going to go get a rope and I'll be back. <coughs> Okay, so this heifer is not letting this poor little calf drink, so I'm gonna have to get a rope on her, snub her up in the corner, and then try to let him suck. So hopefully everything goes to plan without too much commotion, and we'll be able to get this guy get a belly full because he's getting kind of chilly this morning because it's only 37 right now. So, and we had two inches of rain last night. Anyhow, we'll see what happens. You can see this heifer, well, I guess she's now a cow, has no concern for that calf at all. She just plows right over him. Well, here I'm just trying to work her up as close into that corner as I can so that she can't move a whole lot and that'll give the calf a lot better chance to be able to get in there and get a drink. At this point, he's still a little bit weak and a little bit dopey, not quite sure where or what he should be doing. He kind of has an idea, but it's not all there yet. Looks like he finally latched on and is starting to get something.
you can see I'm not pulling on the rope anymore. I'm just leaving slack in it. All the tension on the rope is caused by that heifer pulling back. If she would just step forward one step, she'd have some slack. There, now she has some slack in the rope. At this point, I'm trying to stand as still as possible as to not disturb her. So she'll stand there and let that calf drink and get his fill. This poor little guy's lost again. I'm gonna have to help him out here probably in a second. I don't know if you can see that, but those are little snowflakes falling out of the sky. You can see there she's not enjoying this anymore and she's starting to get agitated and kick him off. So we're just going to have to keep working with her. While you're watching, don't forget to look down there, click that like button, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, and please support the channel. Thanks, I appreciate it.
Looks like he's about done for the moment, so I'm going to try to get him out of there without her stomping on him or me. Now I'm trying to ease up here and get a hold of the rope around her neck so that I can get it off and let her loose. This calf keeps wandering in there into the danger zone, so it's making it a little bit complicated. Thankfully she's not a real big cow, otherwise she would have had me squashed right there. Once again, you can see she has no concern or care for that calf at all. Well, that worked pretty well. He was able to get some milk in his belly and trouble is she's still not wanting him to suck. She's still not mothering up. So I'm going to have to keep doing this multiple times a day. Make sure this little guy survives. If it gets too bad, I'll, I'll supplement him with some uh, milk from a bottle. Make sure he gets through. But uh, right now I'm going to run, get some straw, some bedding for him so he can stay warm and get a couple of bales of hay to feed to her because I'm not letting her out of this corral until she takes that calf. As you can see, I ran to town, got some hay, some straw, fed the heifer some hay because I'm going to keep her locked up in this pen and then put some straw down to keep that calf warm because it's cold out here. It's still down in the 30s. It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning. The wind's blowing. It's a cold wind. So he's going to need something to keep him warm. And then uh, I'll come back around noon, see if she'll let him drink again. and. I'll probably end up trying to supplement him, give him a bottle, get him a real good belly full of colostrum, get him nice and strong and to be able to stand so that he can stay warm in this cold weather. But we'll just keep on trying. Hopefully she's gonna wake up here and start to accept him as her own calf 
and he won't have to be a bottle calf. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, support the channel, and see you next time. We'll see what happens with this guy. Thanks. Bye.